Hey, what's going on guys? So my name is Ipe and I've been making passive income on the internet since 2014. And today I want to talk about this course ATM together, the specifically ATM business model. I am somebody that has been studying this ATM business for quite some time. Just full transparency, I haven't gotten into an ATM business because I found a better way to make passive income using digital assets. So I'll talk about that towards the end of the video, but yeah, I've been researching different ways to create passive income for quite some time. I've tried a bunch of different things. My, actually my business partner right now slash my mentor, Dan Klein, he was in the ATM business. Over the years, I've heard a lot about it. I've looked at all the different stories on YouTube as well of other people that have tried the ATM business. So in this quick video, I want to quickly go over what I think about it, some of the pros and cons, some of the challenges that face an ATM business owner. I've gone through some of their free material. I have no doubt that their training is very well produced so they can get you up and running on starting your own ATM business. But from what I wanted, which is to get to five to $10,000 per month, the ATM business model seemed like there's too many hassles and ongoing work involved. And I wanna to talk to you guys about that in this video and, and why owning digital assets is a way more passive income than owning an ATM. Some of the pros is that an ATM business is cool because it's really easy to understand. It's a physical business. You're going into your local market, local city and town and finding good locations, negotiating with business owners to put your ATM in high foot traffic area. So it's very hands-on in that way. Unlike a lot of other ways to make money online, it's all very like gimmicky. I don't like a lot of ways to make money on the internet for that reason renting out digital assets local legion is also going into local which i'll explain a little bit more in the later in the video just to show you guys some of the math and now we're going to go right away into some of the cons of the business is that each atm is going to cost you like two thousand five hundred dollars it's not the cheapest thing in the world and you're going to need to put about let's say twenty thousand dollars in cash your own money into the atm unless you use the the cash filling services which they're going to eat into your profit margins so i it's not that recommended to do that so how you make money with atm is like you make money off the surcharge right so anytime somebody withdraws from the atm it's going to charge let's say four dollars in surcharge and then usually the owner of the business establishment the restaurant the barber shop wherever that store is they're going to want to take half of your profit so let's say surcharge is four dollars every transaction so you make two dollars and the business owner that is allowing you to put your ATM in their business is gonna make $2. The problem with the cash filling services is gonna, they're gonna wanna take another dollar of your surcharge to fill up the ATM. So your profit margin now goes to $1 per per transaction which really cuts into your margin it's gonna half your profit margin so most people are gonna be advised to put your own cash so let's say you want to make five thousand dollars a month of net profit you're gonna have to buy five atms at 2500 each that's twelve thousand five hundred dollars that you're gonna have to spend on atms and you're gonna to have to put twenty thousand dollars cash into each ATM, so times five. That's hundred and hundred k in cash. So total, you already have a one thousand one hundred and twelve thousand dollars and five hundred dollars tied up, just for owning five ATMs. And best case scenario, you make a thousand dollars net profit for each ATM, and you make five thousand dollars net profit. That's gonna take you two years to get your money back, which is still pretty decent. However, there are other cons. It's not just set it and forget it. So it's every week you're gonna to have to go refill those ATMs. And from all the stories that I've heard from my mentor and some of the other good people I saw on YouTube, this refilling the ATM is the part they hated the most about the business. It can be quite dangerous because you're carrying a bunch of cash on you in, with your vehicle. A lot of them said they wanted to have another partner with them to be watching that because when you're filling out your ATM, you have your back, you're bending over, you have your back 
towards the world and you're just in the machine refilling it. So you are putting yourself in a, a quite vulnerable situation. And a lot of the guys on YouTube that I've saw, they're also carrying around pistols with them for self-protection. That, that can put a lot of people off in this business. Now, finding a good location is another challenge in this business. You need a high traffic area, but the problem is ATM business is such a simple to understand business that a lot of people have already tried to got, get into that business in your city or town. So a lot of the great locations already have an ATM. So this like means that new locations, new barber, new dispensary, new bars, those are going to be your best bet. But the problem with those new locations is that they don't have enough data of what kind of traffic they get and it's a new establishment. So it, you don't, you're not certain that it does well. So you might get really excited to put your ATM in a location, but then a month goes by and there's only five transactions. So now it's a whole issue of now you have to move that ATM elsewhere or hopefully that business picks up, but that's another risk that you have to take. So there's opportunity costs and time that can accrue and your ATM is no guarantee that's going to be max profitable each and every month. Also, sometimes you might want to talk to a business owner that already has an ATM and negotiate and have the business owner give you the ATM's contact info and you contact the ATM the company and you try to buy out the contract. So that might, you might spend $5,000, $10,000 for them to take away their ATM so you can put your ATM. So there's just a lot of negotiation and, and sales that is involved in the ATM business. You have to go in cold into business establishments and have to pitch your ATM in their establishment. It's good for those that is not scared to do face-to-face -face sales. That's just something to be aware. That's one of the things that you have to deal with in this business. Now, let me quickly transition and talk about the local lead generation business where we are building and ranking our own lead generation websites at the top of Google. So for example, if you go to google.com and type in tree service, Grand Rapids, Michigan, this is my website that pops up at the very top of the Google search. So anytime that people need tree care in Grand Rapids, Michigan, they're going to find my site. They're going to call that phone number. And every time that phone number gets called, my client answers the call. And this one website generates like 150 phone calls per month. And each tree care job can go anywhere from a thousand to five thousand dollars. So you're dealing with much higher transaction and profit per customer than the ATM four dollar surcharge. So for this simple website, it only cost me like five hundred dollars to create this site. This site has been making me two thousand dollars per month since 2015, and I have not touched this site. My, I have my client's card on auto bill and that auto bill gets dinged every month and I don't even have to even touch it, worry about it. There's no ATMs that I have to check up on. I don't have to worry about the ATM getting stolen. I don't have to go refill cash on the ATM each and every week. I literally set this site up, probably took me 15 hours to build it and rank it in Google. I don't even have to touch it anymore and this site continues to make money for me. So when you do the math, these Legion sites, $500 to $1,000 to build and rank it. And once you build and rank these sites, it's only about $35, $35 per month to maintain it. And it's, it, that, and it's making $2,000 per month. So basically that's 98% profit margin. That's what's amazing thing about leveraging digital assets is because it has a lot more perceived barrier to entry. Most people are going to think that the, building these kind of websites and ranking at Google is not so obvious of a business model, right? Which is why not too many people are going to get into this kind of business because there's a lot more tricks involved and techniques. And whereas ATM, everybody sees an ATM, everybody sees that ATM could be a passive income stream. So there's a lot more people looking into the ATM business model, which is why it is a lot more saturated. We're also leveraging softwares and other different tools on our sites that other local companies don't know about. So it gives us a massive competitive advantage. The one thing I don't like about ATM or not necessarily just limited to ATM, but a lot of the physical businesses is that there's no special softwares that I can incorporate into the business to give myself a competitive advantage against other ATM business owners. This is why I like digital 
businesses because I can leverage different softwares that is not so obvious to the general public and I can utilize it just in my own business of lead generation to give myself a massive competitive advantage. And in business, if you want the most passive and lucrative business, you need to create competitive advantage against other people trying to create similar types of passive income streams. Just to do another quick math. So to fill up one ATM, to buy one ATM is $2,500, right? And to fill it up, $20,000 in cash. And so that's $22,500 of your own money that you have to put into the business just to get one ATM that might make $1,000 per month in net profit. For $22,000, let's say we take the high end of $1,000 to build and rank the lead gen site. So you can essentially build and rank 22 local lead generation site for the same price, for the same price of one ATM. At 22 local lead generation site, let's say, we, let's just take the very low end and each site only makes $750 a month. 22 times $750 a month. So for the price of one ATM, you could potentially make 22 times 750 is $16,500 per month versus ATM that makes $1,000 per month. So in my opinion, this is the power of owning digital assets. You're playing with unfair advantage compared to physical businesses or brick and mortar businesses because we're leveraging, first of all, knowledge that not too many people have access to, which is your, it's a whole skill set methodology to rank a site at the top of Google. So you have a competitive advantage in knowledge. We also are utilizing our proprietary software to automate a lot of this. So we have a software competitive advantage and we also have a skill advantage, which is this skill is so versatile. You can go into 50 different niches in every city all across the world. And there's thousands of cities just in the US alone. So unlike an ATM where you're stuck in your current location and you and there's limited amount of good locations that you can find to put your ATM in, with a skill set as versatile as local lead generation, you can target any city and all across the world, all across the US, and you can be at the comfort of your own home and target any of these cities in any of these niches. So it has a massive skill advantage because it's so much more of a versatile skill set to make money with. So if you're interested in what I had to say about local lead generation, I would highly recommend checking out the link in the description. In my opinion, it is a far more stronger way to create long-term passive income that is much more hassle-free than the ATM business. So I hope to see you on the next page. I have a great webinar on the next page that's going to explain everything more about the local lead generation business model in detail. And whether you decide to do local lead gen or not, you're going to have a far better understanding of that not all businesses were created equal. You want to create businesses that have a lot more leverage than a physical business. And we're going to show you exactly how we do that. So see you guys on the next page.